Hi Kerry fans, so today we're going to be checking out did Kirby drop the ball when they lowered the power of the G4? So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi Kerry fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate. Slap the subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Now don't forget everything I use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. And the music I use from Epidemic Sound is down there as well. If you wanna go through that link, you'll get a 30 day free trial and you can try it out, see what you use. Again, any videos you use with that music for that 30 days are whitelisted, so they are copyright free for life. Right, so we'll jump into today's video. What we're gonna check out is the G4. Right, so when the G3s came out, there were 700 watt motors, which was a massive improvement compared to the Legend 2. The only difference was they changed the mini empty out. Now, if you watched my previous video with the sun test, that Legend 2 with a lower motor still caned the G3. And it still is the most powerful Kirby on the market that you can get, as far as I know. I'm gonna continue with these sun tests and see whether we can knock the Legend 2 off that pedestal, but at the moment, it is my top rated Kirby with the sun test. So as the G4 was released, Kirby did a few modifications from the G3. They sort of kept it the same design, but they obviously changed the color scheme and stuff like that. And they did do some improvements to the motor because they were having issues with the G3s not lasting. Further down the line, as the G4s got later on, they released a lower motor version. It was using a lower wattage motor, so obviously you can use less electricity. What I want to see is if it made any major difference to the CFM purely because they used a 700 watt and then dropped down to a 635. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Well, so on the left, we've got my original G4. Now this was made in November, 1994. Now, I think I probably purchased this at the beginning of 95. Oh, I can't remember offhand. Um, we've been saving up for it a long time and I decided I wasn't gonna buy anything else but a Kirby after demonstrating G3s. So we just had a little sweeper and that's all we had because I refused to buy a Vax or anything that was just gonna push the dirt into the carpet and not get rid of it. So we've got a November 1994 and on my right, we've got the G4 and it's a September 1995. So it's a brand, 10, 11 months, I'd say about, it's around 11 months newer than what this one is. Now what Kirby did, and I'll zoom in and quickly show you, this has got a 700 watt motor. Same motor that was in the G3, obviously with a few quicks and perks, whatever they've done to it, uh, to stop them having any issues with it. But then they dropped it down to a 635 watt motor. Now, I don't understand why, because they didn't upgrade the empty out on these but they dropped it down to a 635 watt motor. So I'll quickly zoom in, show you the bottom of my, my original G4. Again, we've got a little converter on here because it is from the UK. So I bought this when I was in the UK. And then this one's obviously an Australian one and we've just got an Australian plug on here as well. Um, so I'll quickly zoom in and I'll show you the bases to show you one's got a 700 watt and the other one's got a 635. Right, so here they both are upside down. So I'll quickly zoom in on the one on the left. Right, so as you can see, this one's got a 635 watt motor and it's 2.8 amps. So Kirby dropped the motor down for 700 watts to 635 for some unknown reason. So we'll just zoom in now on my original G4 and show you that it's got a 700 watt motor. Okay, so this is my G4, you've got a 700 watt motor and you've got three amps. So it's 0.2 amps more than what the other one is. It's 65 watts more than what they dropped it down to. Right, so for this test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a CFM test, or will we do a sand test in a following video? Just to see what difference it actually makes, and if it made any more difference to the agitation. I'm assuming it did, I'm assuming it lowered it down, but we'll find that out in the next video. So today what we're gonna do is just run a CFM test. We'll see what the CFM test is on the original 700 watt motor and three amps. And we'll see what the CFM is on a G4 that was lowered down to 635 watts and 2.8 amps. 
So what we'll do is jump straight into it. Right, so what we'll do is just run this for 30 seconds. And this is the lighter model G4. I'm just going to run this for 30 seconds as well. Now don't forget everything I've used in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products and there's a link to the music if you're a YouTuber and you want to use that. To get you a one month trial with Epidemic Sound, I can highly recommend it. The music I've got at the moment now is absolutely awesome compared to searching through YouTube Studio. So make sure you check those out. All right, so I'll put the results on screen and I've converted to CFM for you. So the... 1994, so the first G4, had a CFM of 140.859. Now bear in mind, it's got the bag on there, but it's got no actual internal bag. And then when we lower it down to a 565 watt motor, 2.8 amps, in the 99.5 version, we've got 123.309 CFM. So Kirby lowered it by literally 17 CFM which is quite shocking really. I think they were trying to get in line with what they had power-wise with the Heritage and the Legend, but purely because they had a different airflow system. And as you've seen, I mean, the, the G3 would have had the same sort of CFM, so around 140 CFM. And against the Legend 2, the Legend 2 killed the, the G3. So it shows the airflow was, was a lot better, and I think that's why Kirby changed the Mini MTR to upgrade the airflow when they moved from the G5 to the G6, purely because there was loss of suction, there was loss of airflow, and, you know, I think the modifications they've made are better, but I think with that 700 watt motor, um, to me, it's the jewel in the pudding at the end of the day. To get an early G4, and I mean, I was lucky to bomb on when I did, and have a 700 watt motor, the power that you can get out of that machine, and you've seen my Kirby when it's been upgraded, is absolutely awesome. Going from 700 watts down to 635 watts, or going from three amps down to 2.8 amps, makes a, a massive difference, in my opinion. Uh, so again, if you've got a 700 watt motor G4, keep hold of it, look after it, uh, because it, you've got some awesome power there at the end of the day. Right, so again, those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Give us a big thumbs up, so make sure you check that out.